Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a very, very important topic, which is called as testers burnout in work from home, or how do I manage the testers web burnout? Basically, whatever the burnout that we face whenever we are right now doing a work from home, right? So I'm going to talk about the what exactly the issues that we are facing, how do I manage my work, and what basically makes me like more motivated towards the work. And I'm going to talk about uh, so all the topic and there's a heavily, heavily, very important discussion. You can read it on Reddit. I'm going to give you the link also in the end. All right. So make sure you watch till the end because I'm discussing couple of important tips how you can manage your task and your time and work and the couple of other secret techniques which uh, definitely will help you to improve your productivity as a tester all right so let's get started awesome okay so first of all let's discuss about the what exactly we are facing right uh, of course it's a rough uh, let me know in the comments if you are able to relate all the points on from this okay first of all i know it's a rough year there are too many pings or DMs over the Slack. So if you guys are using any kind of uh, messaging app like Slack, uh, Skype or anything, right? Uh, whatever the app that you guys are using for your startup or your company, right? You, you will see that number of pings have increased. Uh, there is an increase in workload that I have specially seen during this work from home hours. Uh, there is a improper work hours means people are working anytime. I mean, anywhere. I mean, for example, uh, during uh, when there was a no during the pre COVID time, right? Uh, people were only working from nine to five right now. People are working 10 PM. They are getting pings, uh, on nights. They are getting picked at 7 AM. So there are like improper work hours. If you are basically able to relate this, let me know in the comments. I think I was uh, facing these issues, lack of motivation, due, lack of motivation, motivation due to the work from home. Yes, because if you are working at home, you are basically seeing your family, you are will not able to do, uh, I mean, uh, due to workload, work pressures, you are not able to give them, give your family time also, as well as you are not able to focus on your time, right? So there's a problem in motivations. Issue in sleep, sleep cycle and as well as work cycle that I have seen personally, uh, uh, the timings are little inappropriate in this case right so workload of course uh so what are the consequences that you guys are facing as a tester right that i have seen which are basically missed test cases uh prod bugs that i have seen people uh this is getting increased uh blame games are more increased because we are right now it's very easy to blame uh because right now uh we are just uh over call right we can just uh Tell them, okay, I have missed, you have missed something like this. Gap in the KT have increased that I have personally seen. Uh, knowledge transfer is has increased. There is a very important thing that I think this is already covered in a couple of uh, surveys also that uh, there's a in poor performance have increased because people are less motivated towards the uh, work that they are doing, right? Uh, MISC, I would say, uh, of course, manual testing is boring. And uh, if you are doing it over work, home and all, then it's become too much boring on this case. Uh, so what you can do is you can try out automation, POC, and documentation that are basically given the some of the solution. Same work problem. You are doing the same work again and again. Again, I have told you two POC, ask him if you can do it or not. This is just a solution. But yeah, these are the things that we are facing. If you agree all of the points, let me know in the comments and go, do give a like for this. And let's discuss how I manage, right? So make sure you watch this because this is really, really important. Okay. This is the very interesting thing that I have tried out and trust me, it works very well, which is basically switching off your Slack notification. How many of you are doing it? Let me know in the comment, how many of you are switching your Slack notification or any kind of messaging information, uh, notification uh, during the work hours. So this is what I have tried, which is basically one hour switching. For example, after my meetings, after my uh, scrum meetings in the morning, daily standups, right? I'll switch off for like one hour and I do focus work, that's it. I'll switch off the notification for one hour. After one hour, I'll basically switch on for like few minutes, like 15, 20 minutes, where I, mean, I will see the pings, I'll just reply back. And uh, I will use the, I basically, I'm right now using the Slack keywords for urgent. If someone mentioned urgent, uh, there, I have, there are a couple of keywords that I have entered. Urgent, need you as of now. I mean, these keywords you will find on internet also. Uh, if someone mentioned you, for example, if someone tagging you, as well as mentioning these keywords, I will get the notification. Else, I will just not get the notification. It will it will be just 
separate out after one hour or after 15 minutes or 30 minutes that when my break is finished i'll just look into that notification that's i have personally seen it works very very well that i've tried right a different lunch lunch time technique i think this is i have learned in uh, my last company which is basically what you can do is that uh, do your work whenever uh, whenever everyone have their lunch and uh, basically have your lunch when everyone is working. So this technique works very well. Uh, whenever, for example, one to two, most of the people will go to the lunch. You can do your work focus time at the time and uh, just tell everyone that uh, my lunch time is three to four or two to three. Please don't schedule any meeting and you will be good to go, right? So that's how what I basically tried. Uh, meetings, how to basically handle meetings. Less meeting, more work. This is very important, I think this, uh, website uh, say says all right it basically you have to have less meetings and more work right uh, you can of course this is a very famous quote by Elon Musk that you can walk out of any meeting if you are not adding value right so that's really really important make sure you do that try to avoid the meeting where you are not adding values so this is what I have seen personally people are in the uh, meeting for no reason you can basically uh, say them it's not I think it's not a uh, improper uh, improper that but uh, you can basically back out the meeting if you are not adding any value value uh, say your part and leave this is one of the technique that i have tried come uh, join any meeting say whatever that you want to say and just leave out uh, just leave out if you are done asking can you dm me if possible this is really really te basic technique that i have tried uh, you can ask uh, anyone who is basically want to have shit you uh, some of the inf some of the knowledge information or some some of the things that I want to know over the call, right? You can say them. We can discuss over DM because DMs work asynchronous in nature, and you can reply whenever you want. Uh, say no to please join or any kind of a, a frequent or ad hoc meeting. This works well. Say I'm into uh, this is a couple of things that I have tried, which is basically telling them that I right now I'm working in very important thing. Uh, I'll get I'll get back to you whenever I have time. So this is yeah, that you can try. Uh, another thing that you can try out is focus to do app, which I personally use. And even right now I'm using it. If you see this focus to do app, it works like this. Uh, click on this. Yeah, it works like this. So basically it has a 30 minute of timer, whatever you want to work, right? And here you can work for 30 minutes. And after that, it will give you a break that if you want to do, right? So yeah. That's it. That uh, that app you can try. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can try. This is basically a Pomodoro technique, which basically work for twenty five minutes and take a break for five minutes. They work for twenty five minutes and wake for five minutes because your brain can only focus for like twenty five to thirty minutes max. So work for thirty minutes, break five minutes, and you can try out a total number like twenty. 10 to 16 Pomodoro per day. Try to do that, right? That you can do. Uh, journal your work, which is very important. I think I have, this is where, we, which gets very interesting. Uh, this is uh, how I do it. It's basically a daily to-do task, uh, which basically looks like this. Uh, this is actually a template I'll share with you guys also. Uh, like every week I create a new Notion page will basically contain list of items that I need to do. Uh, this is how it looks like, right? Uh, what do I need to do? For example, regression, I need to do on Thursday, I need to do regression and they just cut it off side by side. So this is a, one of the uh, productivity thing that I have tried. So this is daily to do and you have a weekly to do also that I have tried out. Uh, journal your work that I have already told you, like do POCs. This is very important. I always encourage POCs, any kind of POC. POC basically means you basically try out a couple of new things to basic that can improve your process, productivity or anything. For example, if you are as diet, right, you can try out that, okay, if Selenium or new tool, which is basically coming out, for example, Cybrus will be helpful for us or not. Uh, you can try out if a uh, couple of other Git, Git, Git related things will work out or not. New slave will work or not anything for example type docker related things will work for us or not uh, even in manual testing do try out the other uh, testing techniques to design your test cases to remove to reduce the number of test cases right you can do POCs for that okay share your blog become a part of community i think you can part, become a part of a ministry of testing as well as as that club right that you can do that upskill myself that i basically try uh, if you know 
what i have learned here we may there are lots of few new things that i have learned in 2020 for example gen case as a code gradle advanced related thing ec2 ami balancing these are things that i have learned like screenplay method visual ui per se and many more small wins that i have personally done it so you can motivate yourself by upskilling your uh, self that i that basically i want to discuss here meditation personal uh, time 30 minutes personal time one hour meditation i think this will calm you down uh, will give you more focus and will remove the burnout that you guys are facing uh, switch to audio books that i have personally tried you can basically go to script.com there are like millions of millions of audio books related to personal uh, life uh, financial and other things you can listen to them while uh, i mean whenever you are taking some time discussion discussion with the senior people i think friendly discussion with your manager about the work and culture rather than the office work you can do that that we have personally tried uh, if you want to discuss about the test of burnout i think this is a very interesting thread uh, this mind map is already available in the description you can download and click on this link where with people are discussing about the test of burnout i think that will give you more advantage on this right so this was it uh, This was all about the tester burnout and in work from home and how do I manage my work, right? I hope you have learned something new. If you have found some of the interesting concepts in this about the Notion template, if you want Notion templates and any other things, right? Do let me know in the comments. I'll give you the exact link how you can copy paste and use those templates for your work, right? Thanks for watching and please give it a like and subscribe to the video and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.